Hey everyone, and once again, welcome back to the, you know, uh, Reactions of Harmony, or was it like that? <laughs> anyway, uh, this is an interesting one since I remember reading about this uh, episode from a quest ready. It's about Mod Pie moving to Ponyville. I kind of, I myself would have rather kind of enjoyed if she had stayed with her family and all that. I, I'm kind of torn because I like the idea that Mod Pie is moving to Ponyville, but the other hand, I would have liked that certain characters would just stay where they, uh, you you know, kind of belong, or I don't know, uh, just uh, <laughs> well, you know, I, I like that not all the even the like decided characters, supporting characters and all that, it would be nice if not all of them lived in Ponyville. So it creates kind of a little nice narrative that so gives us some reasons for the characters to leave Ponyville and to see them. But uh, uh, this is still going to be an interesting episode, no doubt, so I'm looking forward to see what they're going to do and mostly because Mod Pie. <laughs> And hopefully we can see some limestone as well. Oh, what's that her name? Anyway, uh, uh, I still hope to see her. So anyway, uh, let's just go and watch this episode, shall we? In... 3... 2... 1... So, in closing, okay. learning a rock turret in rock studies from the Equestrian Institute of Rockology is no easy... I really don't... I'm not sure what the heck they can do with rocks. Uh, well, then I... No, just you, actually. Fillies <laughs> 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 and gentle cold... Well, she's only number one. What is that magnesium-rich basalt? <laughs> <laughs> Aww. It is my honor to present our Valoroctorian, Maud Pye. Excuse me, Dr. Pye. Ooh. There's gonna be Doctor Who references all over this! I can't... well, maybe right now some Doctor Who theme, maybe. Yeah. Rock. That's awesome. Yeah, you are! Really? There's more, Pinky. I'm Mod. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> I should have no. I'm so hoping she would do another poetry about rocks. No, Pinky, she should have done a poetry about rocks. <laughs> That's adorable. But yeah, Mod Pie should have done poetry about rocks. This is a blasphemy of Mod Pie's character. <laughs> you ruined Mod Pie's character forever. <laughs> Worst episode ever. I don't know. Mm. Well, maybe this episode might be good, even if Mod Pie didn't read any poetry. Ooh. All right, I forgot about about I for, forgot about the uh, logo here, not the theme. Yeah, I'm with your ponies. Pinky, there's there's all. I know you'll get excited, but calm down a bit. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of Doctor Who references all over this episode. Ooh! 
Sparkly! Way too sparkly. <laughs> Should have known. Well, you're usually just rarity and spike now, Dad. It's lovely to see you again. Oh, congratulations on your rock turret. What are you doing now? Talking to you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if rarity is using her horn to light that thing up, so what is Mod Pie using? I found one. Oh, you're an absolute <laughs> darling! This will surely spike make your fire! Yes, I no doubt she knows. That's actually a really common gem. Oh. <laughs> These are all really common gems. Yeah. Obviously. Oh no. <laughs> oh, Rarity. <laughs> I think crystals, whatever. It's still kind of ugly. Structures are made from rocks, Pinky. Yeah. Very stable building material. Yeah. But this place grew out of nowhere after a magical key built gem boulder vehicle and buried itself in the ground. I mean, how did that happen? Is that thing still out of the ground? Yes. No, you haven't. We literally just saw hundreds of them in the gem cave. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. I know the feeling when those get on your clothes or pants. That's a tortoise. She got it right! <laughs> she got it right, at least! Come here for any way. Oh. <laughs> guess you won't be moving to Ponyville after all. Whoa. Whoa. I'm kind of afraid here. Actually, rocks aren't the only reason I'm considering Ponyville. Oh? You said it's a rock based decision. I'm obviously passionate about exotic rocks, but I've always studied them alone. I could handle some less exciting rocks if it meant I'd have some pony to talk to besides Boulder. <laughs> I wouldn't mind one. <laughs> Again, this is kind of a bruise my point when I say about Mod Pie in my Mod Pie first her, her first episode reaction. That she somehow can't. She. I like to think that she can express her emotions. And inside she's like, why well, I can't do that. You're my sister. It's different. Mon, you are the best. You never know when the lightning of friendship will strike. Somebody could come barreling through that door at this very moment and become your and? friend. Oh. Please don't discord. Please don't discord. Discord. Oh, I don't. If I remember correctly, it seems they didn't get John to that. <coughs> John to that in this, in this season. From being his excitement. I traveled to Questra for my rock to a dissertation. Huh? Oh. Psst. Hey. Do you know a lot about rocks? <laughs> yes. Have you ever come across some kind of super powerful stone that can store the cutie mark magic of uh, I don't know, entire village? Yep. In the big cave. What the? <laughs> what the? 
Oh! Oh! <laughs> Awkward! Shipping? I still ship mo more than Twix. Trixie. Moxie. Moxie. Mm. But still, I support more than Trixie shipping. Even though this is fascinating shipping, I want to see more of this. <laughs> Creepy. So, other than rocks, what else are you into? Rocks? Minerals. Oh. Tectonics. Oh, and stand up comedy, of course. Ah. <laughs> I like kites. Hmm. <laughs> kites are cool. <laughs> Something a little bit cooler, kite. Something like the Phoenix. And it's gone. Really like oh. <laughs> oh, gee, Pinky, you are trying too hard on this. Muffin pizza. Ew. I don't give him dirty wood like that. For example, do you feel like you're becoming friends? No. Like I don't want to talk about feelings? Great. I'll go next. I feel like I love that you two are becoming best friends. They are. I mean your friendship could be the friendship that makes Mark move to Pokemon. No pressure, Starlight. Just let them go, Pinky. Maybe you should go harass Twilight more about things, like she usually does. But she always calms down. Eventually. Yeah. Eventually. Why do you find rocks so fascinating? Oh, so back there. Each one has a different story to tell. Like Boulder here. Ooh, what are we gonna get this story? Thousand years old. You don't look a day over six hundred. Wow. Damn. You tell that from a line? I didn't get a rock drip because I can shred on guitar like no pony else. <laughs> I smell shipping right now. They don't exclude you if you're different than other ponies. They're beautiful and strong, but they don't judge you or make you feel less than in any way. I think I'm starting to like rocks too. I smell shipping. Rock solid shipping. It's what? hollow? It's granite. Hollow granite is highly unusual. What the heck? What the? Have you ever seen anything like this? Oh! Huh. And that's unusual for me. <laughs> what the? Pinky, is this your plan somehow? Is she supporting the shipping? Oh no! They're not going to- Oh, Pinky. I got an idea! <laughs> Use some tranquilizers if you have one! Or a sleeping spell. Uh, no, Pinky, Pinky, no, 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 no! Oh no! 
Pinky. <laughs> Damn, Pope Mulder is. <laughs> wow! Awesome. No, that was sandstone. More sand than stone, apparently. Ah! I'm thinking you wear these around your neck at all times so I don't lose you again, you see? <laughs> that way I can track your progress as friends! This is kind of a creepy. Ooh, and tomorrow we can have a friendship brunch! What's your favorite kind of only cupcake? Mine's jalapeno red velvet. Uh, yeah, um, I think I'm gonna have I have a feeling about this. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. Tomorrow's friend is gonna be the scrunchie. I smell so much shipping between more pie and starlight. About that. The problem is, while you two were alone, I couldn't get data points on your friendship probabilities. Were you making strong smile? Hmm, I like pinky pajamas. <laughs> They're adorable. Oh, and more pies is yeah, adorable too. <laughs> I, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but... Uh, <sighs> Never mind. Don't worry, Mom. When you see uh, the way of joking. Wait. Is this just Mod Pie's joke or something? Mod. Oh. Because it kind of seems that way. Somebody has made any sheepings because I'm actually filming this like a couple of weeks after this episode was aired. We never had to say it, but we got each other. You really were becoming friends? Yeah. I think so. Nope. But you kind of, sort of, got in the way. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Too harsh. Let's go with you ruined everything all the time. <laughs> That's even worse. Uh, that's worse. Yeah. In the no, not in the Griffin Stone. Oh, all right, it was that where a tank and every other animal had to come. This must be day. Yeah, I thought. Now I remember. I remember now. I remember now. <laughs> What else? I don't think there's any pony else in there. <laughs> What the heck? What deal? 
Ew. Yeah, sure. Ooh. I even made a new friend. Is it a rock? Yes. Of course. <laughs> I don't belong in Ponyville. It only proved I'm better off all by myself. Like I always have been. Oh. Don't say that! It was all my fault! Oh, so they are not like one big hydra thing. This, I, this is actually filmed a couple of weeks after the episode aired, and I'm very surprised I was able to avoid this much, much spoilers. And But yeah, this was really, once again, a really nice episode, and once again gave some nice lessons that... If you want somebody, uh, somebody you know to make friends, uh, you really shouldn't stick with them the whole time to make sure that they become friends, because that might kind of ruin things, so... That is a good lesson for kids, once again. And uh, I have to say, at first, Pinkie Pie was a little way too excited and loud and everything, but I don't know, somehow it, it became a little less, uh, in a way, after she and Mod Pie moved to Ponyville and all this stuff happened. And I was really surprised about Starlight Glimmer, and probably some, some bronies will complain about that, but I don't mind. This was really nice that. Uh, Starlight is making more friends than just uh, Trixie, so yeah, maybe now they can form their own main six once they have find the rest of the. Uh, oh, actually, if if it's now Mod Pie, Trixie, Starlight, Discord, Thorax, we need a six more, sixth member. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, uh, 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 yeah, it was really nice, and actually, I'm thankful that she didn't move like. Completely in Ponyville, like somewhere in the houses. It was actually a little bit f further away, and that was somewhat nice. And actually, fits more because it would be kind of strange if she would move into. Her, because I don't really, I didn't see her living in a fully populated area. I, I had this more this this idea that she would more likely live a little out further away from populated area. Uh, what else? Uh, and you know, uh, a little bit about Starlight and Mo Mod Pie. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> Starlight asked about the whole powerful stone and all that. That was freaking hilarious. 
<laughs> I don't know what to feel about that. That was just so great. And of course, uh, mod by simply just destroying rarity. Oh my god, poor rarity about it. <laughs> I really hope they will continue that joke in, in some other episode, like Rarity trying to find another new place to find actual unusual gems. And when you think about it, they know that has have become usual because Rarity all, most of the time goes there to pick those things, so obviously they are not so unusual. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Uh, what else? Uh, well, not really much because, uh, sorry, but uh, I, I can't think really much because I simply really enjoy this episode. This was really fun and enjoyable episode. I, I, I didn't have much to complain here, only, again, Pinkie Pie a little bit at the beginning was somewhat, but not that bad. And, uh, and he, and the rest of the episode, uh, it was understandable because uh, if you, you should know her by now that much that She's overly excited about this and she wants to make sure that she, her sister is happy, so of course she might do these kind of things. And thankfully, uh, Starlight actually talked her about that and made her realize her mistake, which is really nice. Uh, even though it was a little bit bold, but uh, I think sometimes the boldness is good. It's good. Uh, I'm not trying to too, too nicely, but of course make sure people will understand if you say too boldly you quickly should say that yeah I really didn't mean to sound this nasty or anything but it, that was just the truth uh, and I'm not mad at you or anything like that I hope you, I hope you guys could, you get the idea what I mean here uh, <coughs> yeah well well not really much anything, anything else to say about this episode so again really freaking like this and Looking forward to the next episode, uh, it's gonna be one heck of a ride because I'm missing a couple episodes, so let's see, quickly see what else is, oh, what is coming up, so till next time, thank you, keep calm and Brony on!